Will Anthony Richardson or C.J. Stroud have a better rookie season next year? And I feel like this is really a Colts versus Texans. Which foundation do you trust more question? Mm -hmm. I look at the offense, four position groups, running back, offensive line, receiver, and tight end. I think that this is split 2-2. I think the running back goes to the Colts, Jonathan Taylor. The offensive line, I'm going with the Texans. They have a better offensive line. Indy was 32nd in pass block win rate, dead last. Houston was 17th, but in run block win rate, the Colts were slightly better at 23 compared to the Texans' 27th. And the Colts' really left tackle and the guard position are just huge weak points. Bernard Raymond, Will Fries. The Texans don't have any weak point that sticks out dramatically, so that's why I think they're a better offensive line. Wide receiver goes to the Colts. I think Pittman is the obvious standout. And the tight end is the Texans with Dalton Schultz. I think, you know, he definitely clears Moali Cox, Jelani Woods, big Jelani and, Woods and, guy, and those guys. Jelani Woods, listen, he's a physical freak specimen. Mm. They also drafted Will Mallory, somebody else who tested very well in the combine. Related, related to the Mallory bros? No, no, he's not. <laughs> no. And defense, front seven, I got the Colts. Secondary, I got the Texans. Okay. Um, so it's really split between front set. It, defensively, it's split. But I'll be honest, man, I think the reason why I'm leaning with Anthony Richardson having a better season is because of all the first-round quarterbacks that were drafted, his pressure to sack rate is the lowest. His pocket navigation for how little he's played the position I think is special. His talent is undeniable. I think he has more talent than C.J. Stroud. And Shane Steichen has worked with Back-to-back -back quarterbacks and has maximized them. Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts, Anthony Richardson going to be one of these other guys that has these physical tools that Shane Steichen just maximizes. He'll be a force in a running game. Maybe CJ will be a better passer his rookie season, but I think Anthony Richardson will have more of an impact on his team offensively. Okay, I like that. I think Anthony Richardson is in a better position to succeed his rookie year because of Shane Steichen. I really like, out of all of the quarterbacks, all the quarterback parents, I do think this is the best, maybe not best, but in terms of offensive scheme with the quarterback. I Frank love Reich and Bryce Young doesn't. It's up there too, but we know Shane Steichen, what he just did with Jalen Hurts, he's going to want to replicate 100%. 100%. basically exactly what he's wanting to do with Anthony Richardson. We know that he's going to come in here and it's going to be a lot of running the ball. He has the mobile quarterback. He's going to be using Anthony Richardson's legs to his advantage and not for whatever reason because we see, you know, coaches do this all the time, not playing to their players, um, you know, strengths. We know that Anthony Richardson is going to be in a good scheme and a scheme that's going to get the best out of him. And when I look at these weapons, while neither team is weapons galore, neither team has a true wide receiver one, Michael Pittman, Alec Pierce, Josh Downs, Jonathan Taylor, and – an interesting tight end room. Jelani Woods had some flashes. He's athletically one of the most athletic tight ends we've seen with his size, like 6'7 or whatever. So I think the weapons are more than good enough for Anthony Richardson to have a successful season. And I don't think for Richardson, a successful season might be what other rookie quarterbacks, especially C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young, successful season would be. Just because Richardson hasn't played nearly as much as them, right? He has one full season starting under his belt in college. So he's still extremely raw as a quarterback, when you have Bryce Young, who played two seasons, um, started two seasons in college, you have C.J. Stroud, who played three starting seasons in college, two or three starting seasons at Ohio State. These guys are by far the more, um, you know, polished, especially passers. Well, Anthony Richardson still has some growing to do. But when we were scouting Anthony Richardson, he was a lot of the numbers, raw numbers you saw weren't really reflected on the tape, right? His completion percentage was under 60%. But when you saw him play, he had good ball, good ball placement. He was able to lead guys. He had touch. And the pocket navigation was honestly second to none. Bryce Young was definitely up there too. He had great pocket awareness. But Anthony Richardson's ability to not only navigate the pocket, but make guys miss whether it's just having the athleticism or just being straight up stronger because he's going to be up there in terms of weight with a lot of these linebackers and not, not so much defensive linemen, but just as strong as these guys, especially his base. He's such a huge, large, athletic quarterback that's going to be able to make things happen with his legs. And I know Drew mentions How all large. the time there's a bug right there should probably fucking destroy that um he's a large dude oh dude it's a daddy long oh no no i think it's a, a centipede okay dude, okay i'll rip it right now Boy, take care of that take care of that first res oh first responder drew there he is um, i don't know how you spotted that <laughs> bro i saw i saw walking right past um so anthony richson drew mentions all this time uh a rookie quarterback 
typically all of them struggle, right? It's very rare for a quarterback to come into this league and just have instant success. But when you're able to rush as good as Anthony Richardson does, it's going to give you time because we know it takes years. It took Mahomes, I think he said, till year three where he was able to read defense and really be the type of quarterback he is now. Same. Richardson's not going to be able to come in week one, be able to make adjustments on the fly, read defenses, pick up blitzes, the different uh, adjustments they make at halftime. It's going to take time. It's going to take years, really, for Richardson to be able to fully understand that. But he's going to be so gifted as a rusher, and I think Steichen's going to put so many good either rush plays, RPOs, options, whatever it might be, on his plate to get him in rhythm early in the games to build his confidence that will see the progression over time as a passer. So I'm really excited for both of these quarterbacks, but I think Richardson, his marriage with Steichen in this offense, is going to have a really successful rookie year. So really what it comes down to for me, really simply, is Anthony Richardson's rushing ability. I feel like automatically that would put him in positions to be successful, where if he doesn't love what he's seeing on the field as a passer, he has the athletic ability to just take off and be already an immediate game changer just because of how athletic he is and how great of a rusher that he can be. Now, I look at Michael Pittman, and you mentioned it already. I think that he is by far the most trustworthy option at the wide receiver position. And then on top of it, he also does have the best, one of the best running backs in football, period. But, of course, out of these two teams, Jonathan Taylor, where Damian Pierce deserves respect with how bad the offensive line is in terms of rush block, Damian Pierce is definitely successful. Jonathan Taylor is just a different breed of running back. He has the ability to be a pass catcher as well, and if Anthony Richardson is in some trouble, he can just dump off to, to Jonathan Taylor and let him do his thing. Now, I think that Shane Steichen definitely is going to aid Anthony Richardson in the best way possible. You mentioned already he's worked with Jalen Hurts. He's worked with Justin Herbert. These are two of the two of a top five quarterbacks, in my opinion, already. Jalen Hurts solidified himself. Justin Herbert came into the league and proved that he— well, he came into the league and put the league on notice. Just hasn't had the playoff success yet, which is why people don't rate him as highly as others. But regardless of that fact, I think Anthony Richardson does have the tools to be successful. I look at Michael Pittman. I look at Jonathan Taylor. I just think that it's a little bit more easier for Anthony Richardson in year one to have success as opposed to C.J. Stroud, where C.J. Stroud is a really good prospect. There is some, there are, there are some things to look at with the Texans and be happy about. The offensive line definitely isn't bad by any means. Damian Pierce is a solid piece. Hopefully, John Menchie can suit up finally. Then they, I believe, they brought in Robert Woods this year too as well. You have Dalton Schultz. That would be a reliable option for, for C.J. Stroud, no doubt. But I just look at the Colts as a whole. Yes, the offensive line may be that great, but when you're an elite rusher or can be an elite rusher, which I believe that Anthony Richardson can be, it will not be that huge of an issue. He can scramble outside the pocket and hopefully not throw the ball away, not be in that decisive, but really try and utilize his athletic skill set and push the ball downfield with his legs. I think the advantage Anthony Richardson has is he has an offensive-minded coach and C.J. Sure. Stroud, your O.C. is Bobby Slowick. We've seen the West Coast offense succeed in different places, but there's really only a couple coaches that can maximize quarterbacks when they run it. We've seen Kyle Shanahan do it. We've seen Mike McDaniel do it. Bobby Slowick is somebody who wasn't as well-known as Mike McDaniel coming into this spot. He reminds me a lot of Mike LaFleur mm. in this regard. And Mike LaFleur is somebody that he was under the Shanahan tree, but when he went to the Jets, you know, we can say Zach Wilson, we can point the finger at him all we want, but ultimately the scheme that the Jets ran wasn't good. And regardless Only of the quarterback Zach play. in another situation, man. I know. He would have been amazing. <laughs> regardless of the scheme that we re-ran or the quarterback play, Elijah Moore was, was vocal about, the lack of offensive sure, that's creativity true. with Mike LaFleur, and they got into a lot of heated exchanges. I think Bobby Slowick is better than Mike LaFleur, but I think there's going to be an adjustment period because this is not the same offense that C.J. Stroud's coming from with Ohio State. Ohio State's very, very spread, very air raid. So that's why I think there's going to be more of an adjustment period where Shane Steichen, I think, will fit the offense more to Anthony Richardson, where yep. C.J. Stroud has to be more, more in tune with how – Slowick likes to run his offense. Never forget when the Jets are filling out their offensive uh, or in their coaching staff when we, we hired Sala in mean, our Jets group chat. And they're like, what are we going to do when Mike LaFleur gets a head coaching job? Like, we need an offensive mind. Yeah. That day came in. Mean,